Hi everyone, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Thank you for stopping by. Today's Pick a Card reading is going to be the signs you will see between the two of you. So the signs you'll see to reassure you if you're having some doubts about the connection, if you're separated, if there's no contact. These are going to be signs to give you that extra push to know that this is real and you are going in the right directions. It's also signs to if you haven't met um, someone you care about to look out for for that special someone whenever they come along right so I'm gonna give you five piles to choose from we have pile one pile two pile three pile four and pile five you can pause the video if you need time to reflect but I'm gonna get right on into pile number one what are the signs that you will see when you meet the one I want to be extra careful because I made these specially pretty. <laughs> okay, for pile number one, what are the signs you will see whenever you meet the one? To give you some reassurance, we have graveyard, unnecessary fear. And with these cards, these are more about visuals and an intuitive reading and less about the um, actual like meaning of the card, although sometimes I will incorporate that. It's just more like the visual signs that um, will cue you. So I know this is a little morbid, but there could be something about graveyard, something about death that connects you to maybe a famous celebrity dies that you guys both followed, um, or you guys could like going in the graveyard. I like doing it. <laughs> you could be connected through death, right? So uh, if you had a parent who passed away, um, your significant other could experience a loss and um, it's a sign, like there are signs connected through the death and grieving process that uh, you guys both experience, right? So there's something that has to do with death, graveyards, uh, tombstones. We have ask for help, and here we have a mermaid, and it's kind of like Ariel and King Triton, very daddy's girl uh, type of energy. She is kneeling and um, sort of pleading in his lap. It says, what is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself to, excuse me, be willing to allow yourself the support that you need. And also any of the messages that I do read, it could be messages for you. So just take what resonates, guys. This is like for anyone, right? Uh, but anyway, for signs uh, that you'll see this person, you could see nautical signs, uh, mermaid signs of mermaids, uh, coral, the coral reef. You could have um, a partner who is a scuba diver who likes scuba diving, goes on scuba diving trips. Uh, what else am I getting? This person could have a beard and crowns. Crowns could be significant. Forks could be significant. I know I'm saying like weird objects, but sometimes weird objects you guys have like inside jokes about. Let me know, please, because the more I get verification on this stuff, the less uh, crazy I feel. <laughs> so thank you. We have Saturn. So this is the taskmaster. You could have met this person through school. This person could be older than you are. Um, this person, uh, I know it might sound a little weird, but you could meet them through your father, through a father figure. Let's see. We have Taurus. Uh, signs that you could meet this person through, um, food. Food could, um, be a sign for you. Something to do with food. Uh, also a bull could, uh, be a sign. Money could be a sign. But food especially, I think. Food, snacks, uh, comfort. Ooh, you wanted three. I did not realize this. You got three cards. We have love, of course. Love birds, birds in general could be a sign for you. Um, you know, they'll say like, they're my penguin because penguins are like monogamous or whatever. 
<laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to make fun. But a lot of birds actually are monogamous. I think swans are monogamous and all sorts of birds, right? Uh, so love birds, like they love each other. Um, but they're very fragile little creatures. They have these like wire bones and they just fly around living like um, little peasants on the streets, right? So they do need each other to survive. They need like a uh, support system with each other. That's why they flock together in groups to form like a bigger, uh, to look like a bigger threat than they actually are, right? And so that's why they have partnerships too, because they are fragile. If you think about the human body, the human body is fragile too. Um, because um, walking upright, it causes a lot of complications and we're prone to a lot of disease. Like, uh, anyway, okay, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> Let's keep it moving, Lauren. So we do have a little microphone and uh, music symbols right here. So music could be um, a sign for you, a love song that you guys both shared or that reminds you of your partner. Uh, when I see this mic, this could also be karaoke. You could share karaoke in common. Or that person could be a musician, a singer, something like that. Look, we have more music. This is a radio. So uh, music is very important, especially when you're in the shower, showering. You might turn on the radio. And um, the radio is going to give you signs, like um, the messages in the songs and the way the melody makes you feel. And the memories it sparks whenever uh, you guys... If you guys are separated from this person, the memories it sparks when you guys are together. Um, it could also be sort of like a prophecy for who you meet in the future, right? So you might like love a song and then um, think nothing of it, or you might even think of your perfect person um, while you're hearing the song and then sort of leave it behind and then, you know, be out one day, hear the song, and then Love lift us up where we belong. You meet each other's eyes. Where the hero flies on the mountainside. Richard Gere scoops you up. <laughs> Love lift us up where we belong. He carries you out <laughs> into the streets. And you guys live happily ever after. Uh, so yeah, something magical like that. But I feel like it has to do with music. Um, for some of you, I know this is weird, but I feel like for some of you it might be a music teacher with this ask for help daddy vibes in Saturn. I don't know. Whatever. Um, we also have story of my life. Flowers could be significant to you. We also have this snake. Uh, snakes or mice could be uh, significant to you. But um, this snake is wearing a hat and has like a, a stopwatch around his neck or like a medal or something. He looks like a coach, right? Like a um, coach snake. So um, that could be significant to you. That could mean something to you. I don't know. Um, just throwing that out there, guys. I'm going to pause this because my video can get a little strange. And then we'll move on to the tarot. Let's do it. Okay. But that was nothing for you guys. It was more for me than it was for you. Okay, let's see. We have the Two of Swords reversed. We have the Magician reversed. Beard, another beard. We have a beard here too, but I talked about beards. The High Priestess. Pisces Energy, Gemini and Aries Energy. The Knight of Swords reversed and the Devil. Don't panic about the devil. Um, I also want to say that this magician is more likely Gemini energy than Aries energy, but Aries can be in the mix too. We also have uh, Scorpio and Capricorn vibes, but these signs don't matter. We have Capricorn vibes here twice. Um, signs that, um, that validate your connection, right? Signs that um, you're with your person. Dragons are a sign. We have a dragon right here. Dragon. And we have a dragon in this devil. Um, I feel like there is a strong connection, a strong desire, a strong passion for this person. Uh, you might have to... This connection might be a secretive connection. Um, it might also be a connection that... Um, you can't quite manifest yet, right? Um, 
uh, that you might be uh, blind to some things. Um, but let's get one more card, okay? One more card, one more card. Signs you will meet this person. Is this another mermaid? It is, guys. This high priestess, she has a fin. So mermaids could really be significant. Mermaids, dragons, beards. Music. Okay. I will take you. I will take you. Dragonfly. But it's more about a sword. I feel like there's going to be a truth revealed when you meet this person. Could be someone you were completely blind to before. Um, but like once the truth comes out, it's your, it's like you recognize the passion you had all along that you just couldn't like recognize it's like um i feel like there's like an underbelly of passion that you don't recognize yet and a truth is going to come out and it's going to be like oh set my heart on fire <laughs> with a story of my life and all of this uh swords energy you or this person could write could be a writer could deal with words could be a vlogger could be a speaker motivational speaker someone who speaks could be uh have a strong social media presence but someone who uses words pen is mightier than the sword type of energy uh, you could meet this person online <clears throat> um uh for some of you i feel like you could meet this person through a death in the family on your father's side uh please don't like marry your cousin or something um <laughs> if it's like um you know your illegal cousin but um let's get there's two other cards here we have boundaries <laughs> right after i said please don't marry your cousin where do you need to establish better boundaries okay and we also have flirt um, so, yeah, I feel like there is something, um, it's a very flirtatious relationship that you haven't really entertained in your mind, um, to be serious, but then once the truth comes out that it will be serious, it's like, whoa, yes, this is, this is my story, the story of my life, right? Uh, but it has to do with music. But yeah, there could be some sort of taboo about it. Uh, let me know in the comments. Some sort of secret taboo about it. Um, yeah, let me know, guys. I love you very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, check the description box below. Bye. I love you. Okay, pile number two. What are the signs that you will see whenever you connect with your divine counterpart? What are the signs? For pile number two, we have owl. So you could see a lot of owls. And I didn't say this in the intro, but I guess I'm going to have to say it through all the piles. Um, yes, I'm going to be interpreting the meanings off and on, but this is mostly a visual and intuitive reading because these are signs, right? So if you see an actual owl, um, owl figurines, owls out in nature. Sorry, I moved that. Sorry, sorry. Um, owls in a cartoon, right? Um, when you see owls, that's going to remind you of your divine counterpart. But also we could say your divine counterpart is smart, is wise, is very intelligent, very intellectual. Yes, we could say that. Um, but yes, we're going to get like the full scope of things. So I'm going to throw out a lot of weird things <laughs> like forks. <laughs> The last reading I had, we threw out forks, but forks could mean something to someone, right? Whenever we have these intimate connections, we have these little inside jokes, secret language type of thing um, between us. So weird stuff comes out. <laughs> so let me know about the weird stuff because uh, it really uh, validates me because uh, sometimes stuff comes out of my mouth and it sounds too weird. <laughs> and I like it to be validated, okay? I like to know that what I'm saying is not crazy. We also have forgiveness. Um, 
and it shows two people who are locked in each other's arms. We have a staircase, a candle, two people holding hands, someone playing the violin. So any of those could be crystals. So any of those could be signs for you. Candle, staircase, crystals, holding hands, violins. Yeah, let's keep it moving. We have Virgo. So signs, as far as Virgo goes, Virgo is um, about nature, so you could uh, see this person a lot in, um, or see signs a lot in nature through animals, through plants, uh, through water, uh, like bodies of water, uh, experiences like that. Virgo um, could also be like connection through plants, right? Um, communicating through plants, but let's see. We also have Cancer. Cancer is very um, nature oriented too, uh, but this talks about the home, this talks about security, so this could be, um, you could see signs when you are around the house and uh, just sort of, you know, doing nothing, nesting, uh, getting cozy and comfy, and then, you know, something on uh, a commercial uh, reminds you, right? So this is about being like really secure in your home and that's when you'll see these signs so out in nature and in your home where else are you gonna see them <laughs> no, i'm kidding but like we're not really like going to work right now are we but let's carry on let's carry on these are timeless so you will see them whenever we have self-love we have two foxes and they have rabbits and paper bags Signs that you will see them, foxes, rabbits, paper bags. Again, some of this stuff might seem um, unusual. And if um, it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. But if it does, then take what resonates. Leave the rest behind because I am reading for a lot of people. So there are going to be a lot of weird inside things, right? So we have paper bags, rabbits, and uh, two foxes. It says, you are the best. No, you are. We also have Ultimate Potential. We have a giraffe with headphones, so music could be important to you. Music was important in the first pile. I'm sure music will be important to uh, a number of these piles because it sparks a lot of emotion in us, right? So it could be the past songs you heard together um, on the radio. It could be uh, songs that make you think of that person, um, you know, mixed playlist that you guys shared with each other any number of things i also want to say rainbow this could be an lgbtq relationship it could also be um like over the rainbow rainbow can mean a lot of different things right a prismatic relationship a multi-dimensional relationship you found your lucky pot of gold at the end of the rainbow rainbow connection make any kind of connection you want out of the rainbow but there is a rainbow here um also a giraffe and again he's listening to music so music could mean a lot to you we have Two of Swords reversed, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, the Five of Cups reversed. Why am I saying the Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune reversed? Um, so I feel like at the moment you um, may be sort of haunted by past experiences in love and you might be a little guarded and on the defensive and replaying some bad memories and it might come up at night so what you're doing with these uh, memories of past love is you are really burying yourself into your work with this king of pentacles you're really um getting advanced in your field um, but there is an underlying uh, sadness because you feel like you're sort of down on your luck, right? Um, so these are messages for people who need a little bit of encouragement. So I want to say that, that there are plenty of signs in this 
uh, pile and you shouldn't get down on yourself like those five cups, right? Um, you should, um, the signs that you are going to see, again, are going to be in nature. They are going to be in your home when you're spacing out. Crabs could be one. Um, it could be music, right? And we talked about foxes, paper bags, bunnies, owls, uh, violins, staircases, candles, any number of those things. Um, but I feel like this is a pile where I have to remind you that these experiences you're facing that are sort of knocking you down, like knocking the wind out of your sails, knocking you down financial ladders, or sort of affecting your status in some way. Uh, actually, I don't feel like that. I feel like you are probably a person of uh, status and you want more status because you are going over past experiences where um, your sense of self felt compromised. And But I, I do feel like you are, sorry, working really hard and um, feel like you're down on your luck and like it's sort of a hopeless situation and nothing's ever going to change. But uh, Spirit is reminding you that um, there are signs out there. One of them has to do, um, the more you love yourself, right? We have self-care here and we have forgiveness. So maybe forgiving yourself for some past um wrongdoings that you may have done or that someone else may have done and really taking care of yourself especially cancer is about and virgo too because it's about routine self-care right so um the more you nurture yourself and let go of old burdens um from past relationships old betrayals old baggage old hurts um the more you'll be open to see these signs. This talks about wise seeing, right? Wise seeing action, wise seeing um, like a wise vision, right? So once you, the more you nurture yourself, the more you can um, see things more clearly, uh, see the wisdom in the situation, and see the signs. Uh, other signs, um, and to um, get self-care, the best thing you could do is listen to your favorite music. Simplest thing you can do, doesn't take a lot of energy, just like close your eyes, listen to your favorite music, chill, right, relax yourself. Um, it could be anything from heavy metal to um, Rat Pack, you know, Frank Sinatra stuff, doesn't matter, but if it relaxes you, if it gets you in a better vibration, then um, that's the like least amount of pampering that you need and um, yeah it will put you in a better vibration um, let's continue other signs a fence I don't know I know that sounds silly but a fence um, uh, a goat we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Uh, so there may be, uh, you may be going through a transition phase right now where you're going from a way of handling love, dating, and relationships based on these past patterns into a new way. <clears throat> Of handling them right into you might have met someone if you're in separation with someone you might have met someone who challenged you to level up so to speak and so everything is sort of new to you because you haven't experienced this love before and um, you haven't been sort of this type of person to even be in this position before right so you're sort of like learning it's like going through puberty, right? You've like grown, you've hit this growth spurt. Only the growth spurt is like spiritual growth spurt. So, right? So you hit like this growth spurt and you're, it's awkward because you're trying to fit into that new body, right? That new spiritual self. Um, but just trust the signs. I feel like you see them, um, but you might doubt them because you may have been hopeful about signs in the past and, you know, 
had some bad experiences, but um, that doesn't mean that the signs you're seeing right now aren't real. So let me know if that resonates. I love you very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, check the description box below. I love you. Bye. Okay, pile number three. What are the signs you'll see for your love, for reassurance? We have eternal love. Love is love is love, and it transcends physical death. We have skeletons, flowers here. They're under a tree, under the roots of a tree. And I, um, forgive me, I didn't say this in the intro, but I've been saying it in the piles. Um, I am, of course, reading the meanings of these cards, but it's going to be a combination of the visuals and the intuitive messages that I get from the images of the cards because this is actually signs, right? We have more flowers here, so flowers could be really significant in your partnership. We have wings, like butterfly wings. Butterflies could be significant in your relationship. Uh, we have dolls. Um, like attracts like if you are longing for more love in your life you need to be more loving so puppets dolls uh stop motion action figures um miniature figurines uh yeah that those are signs for you to be on the lookout for we have neptune neptune talks about a lot of different things it talks about uh, media so you could see we have seahorses here by the way seahorses could be a sign for you uh, by the sea Pisces and Neptune talk about the fish Neptune is like King Triton right um, ruler of the sea anywho um, Neptune is about uh, Hollywood right it's about music and uh, movies and glamour and entertainment and um, you know, uh, lights, camera, action, right? So you might get a lot of your signs through watching movies, through watching TV, through listening to music, through um, art. Uh, Neptune talks about artistic endeavors, uh, paintings. Um, yeah, you might get a lot of your signs that way through media, art, and entertainment. We also have Jupiter. Again, Jupiter talks about press and pub publication, so this could be, um, this is also a media card, right, um, about the arts. These two together are very, like, um, TV, Hollywood, um, Jupiter and Neptune are very, like, TV, Hollywood, uh, together, uh, placements, um, yeah. Uh, so we have, I am not actually sure what this bird is. I think it might be a hawk. Hawks could be significant to you. Uh, Jupiter, Jupiter is the centaur. Horses could be significant. Jupiter talks about expansion, luck, uh, generosity, belief systems, God. Uh, but yeah, I feel like a very strong press and publication, media, entertainment, flowers, dolls, like I said. I, I did mention like action figures, cartoons, stop motion, puppets, so that could be a sign for you. Uh, we also have positive thinking, more flowers on here, more gardening, so gardening could be significant to you. I did actually mention the roots and underneath the ground of the tree. We have beauty with a peacock here, and we have engagement. So with this engagement card, um, I don't always take it to mean like a marriage proposal, right? A marriage engagement, although it very well could be that. I take this card more to mean um, being engaged with your present moment, right? Like turning off your phone and being like one-on-one -on -one with that person. Uh, right? Like they have your full attention. They have like your full engagement with them. However, um, when we were talking, and that could be like a sign for you um, in some way, right? But we are talking about, excuse me, signs. And we have an octopus, a fish. They're on a picnic blanket. 
and they have wine and cheese so that could be significant to you too that could be a sign for you too in some way any of those could be signs for you um, but also with engagement I do want to say this could be like social media engagement so we are talking about media as far as art as far as film TV books uh, music uh, but that could also be online since we're talking about engagement right so there could be a lot of uh, the signs that you get from the universe could be social media engagement what do I mean by that I mean if you post a song thinking about your uh, special person and it gets the most likes on your page um, even though your special person didn't like it, it's like energetically the universe is saying yes to that song. You see what I mean? Um, so something like that. Only you will know and it'll vary from person to person. Let's get on to your tarot cards. We have the Ace of Pumpkins. We have Candy here. Candy could be a sign. Lilies. Lilies could be a sign. We have the Five of Imps. We have the Seven of Bats reversed. Bats could be a sign. Clowns could be a sign. Circus could be a sign. We have the two of ghosts reversed. Snake. Snake could be a sign. Bats. Quilts. Cats. Uh, the nine of bats here. And we have judgment. Uh, vampires could be a sign. And we have music here. Music has been a theme throughout the other piles. Of course it's going to be. And again, we have this Neptune energy with... Uh, movies and TV shows being more of a focus too, but I mean, all of those things spark memories, right? And all of those things are avenues and outlets for spirit to give us those signs. So of course you're going to see uh, things through these channels, but it's just a reminder that um, songs can remind you of this person. I do want to say that um, this looks like a connection where uh, someone might have taken the other for granted, there was competition, and they kind of snuck out, um, and now they just regret making that decision. I don't want to go too much in detail about that. It's like the same old story you hear in these tarot readings, and yeah, people do that, right? <laughs> um, and we've heard this story before, but we're talking about the signs to give you reassurance, right? We know that, um, we know this old story. However, we do have judgment here, and judgment does talk about a reunion. It talks about a rebirth. It talks about something rising from the dead, right? So if you are separated from your person, <coughs> then this could very well have a second chance of coming back to life, so to speak, right? Uh, and it's interesting because we have two skeletons right here who are, like, buried in the ground. They are dead, right? And it talks about, like, love transcends death and then we have it ends with judgment meaning they rise up out of their grave because in the this image um of judgment the dracula figure is sorry guys the dracula figure is getting these people to rise out of their graves to rise from the dead right um i also want to say that this connection could be one that uh, transforms you into a new way of being meaning like there has to be some sort of ego death to rise above um into the next phase of your life into the next level of your self-development into the next level of your spiritual journey right to engage into the ne that next step i also want to say that you guys could be mirror, mirroring each other with this like attracts like and the eternal love because it's both like two, right? We have a two-sided thing here, two-sided thing here, two-sided thing here. Um, what else was I going to say? But yeah, I feel like this person might make you the, like your best self. So they like made you level up in a way that you never expected out of yourself before. Let's see what else we have. We have the crumbling. You, What are you clinging on to? So this is kind of like the tower. And we have electricity here, right? So again, with this electronic um, media entertainment, this could very well, you could very well get signs uh, through watching uh, movies with this electricity, right? Something electronic. But with the tower, it's very... Uh, 
these two cards are similar, Judgment and the Tower, because it talks about transformation, it talks about rebuilding, it talks about um, going from one phase to another, right? Uh, leveling up, restructuring. We also have Let Go of Control Issues. Interesting, as I was just talking about um, restructuring. The crumbling says, what are you clinging on to? And this says, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So there is something that you are clinging on to. Um, you're trying to control. And so you need to let it play out as it should. Uh, but and I feel like the reason you are clinging on to control issues is because there could be a lot of competition with your person. We do have beauty over here, so they could be a very beautiful person. So you're kind of like nightmarish about it, or uh, it's kind of nightmarish for you because, um, uh, oh God, sorry. I'm hearing that Nick Jonas song, Jealous. I still get jealous. Sorry for my singing. I really apologize for that. I hope you guys don't give me a thumbs down for that uh, song choice and my singing. But um, you could like beat yourself up about being good enough in like the competitive um, sphere of this person, right? But I feel like that is um, malarkey. That is bullcorn. That is silly right um but any of the signs that i mentioned uh in this video um any of the signs i mentioned in this video know that whenever you see them they are to give you that reassurance that you can beat out the competition right Anyway, I love you very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, check the description box below. I love you. Bye. Okay, pile number four. What are the signs that you'll meet this person? That you're in the right direction? That you have assurance that you've met the one? We have winter. You could meet this person in the summertime. We also have the sacredness of pausing with a maple leaf. So leaves could be leaves could be important. Frozen lakes could be important. Uh, the moon, we have the moon behind here. I also want to say that I didn't say this in the intro, but I've been saying it with each pile. I am reading this with a combination of the um, traditional meanings and an intuitive read based on the visuals, based on the images, because after all, we are trying to figure out what signs are involved, right? So this is a mixture of um, no matter what is... Um, no matter what the message is of the card, we're going to look at the images of the card, right? To see if we can get any clues for any um, signs that we have, right? So yes, we have winter, pausing, a leaf, a frozen lake, and a moon. We also have, look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. And we have a woman here who has antler ears, like antlers right here, um, with candlesticks at the end of her antler. Good God, they cut out my video. I don't know when, guys. I don't know when. So let's go over, back over. We have winter, frozen lake, a leaf, a moon. We also have a woman here who has antlers with candlesticks at the ends of her antlers. We have an iris flower, a woman with a harp, and a handheld mirror. <sighs> Look at your patterns in relationships and the sacredness of pausing. We also have Venus. Um, this person could be very beautiful. They could be very artistic. They could be... Uh, very aesthetically pleasing, right? So they could have a, um, their home decor could be visually pleasing, right? They could have a nice fashion sense. They could um, like to do their makeup, something like that, right? We also have Mercurius, Mercury. Uh, this person is very smart. This person is um, very quick-witted. An air sign, perhaps. A Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but um, if 
it is, then great, right? Uh, Venus, beauty, love, Mercury, thought, communication, um, systems. We also have forgiveness and wonder. We have an audience with 3D glasses, so you could get these signs through a movie or through a TV show. I've been telling everyone um, that we had a lot of like music and TV uh, piles, but of course, like that's where where you'll get the signs, right? Um, that's where spirit's gonna get them. So we have four of swords here. You could get these signs through your sleep, through your dreams. We also have the five of pentacles. You may feel on the outskirts of this person or this person may feel on the outskirts of you. Like you might have had a fight. We have the six of wands reversed. Roses could be a sign. Dragons. The Four of Cups reversed. Alcohol could, I, I know this is silly, but like brands of alcohol could be like a sign for you guys. Uh, fishing, a cat and a fish, a fish bowl. A uh, toolbox, a fishing box, toolkit, a hammer. Any of those could be, a, be signs for you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. These um, are just reassurances for those who um, need it, right? We have the Eight of Cups. We have a broom, a cat, uh, camping, hiking, mountains, forest. And we have the Two of Wands reversed with someone holding a globe, the world. We have someone holding a scepter, a lizard, and a cat. Cat again. You are going to get these signs through um, movies or TV, like I said, but also through uh, nature, through the outdoors, through camping, or through hiking, uh, through experiences out in nature, outside, out in the woods, out, out, out. Um, we have a lot of nature aspects here with the frozen lake, with being outside in the Five of Pentacles, with um, these sort of campsites right here, right? So you will get those signs there. And um, again, if you see an iris flower, then that is a sign for you. When you see what looks like a maple leaf, that's a sign for you. Uh, I also want to say you are probably separated from this person. You guys probably had a fight. There was probably, um, as I said in other posts, some taking for granted, same old story that we hear from all of these tarot um, readings, right? Um, it's a common story where they didn't know what they had when they had it, and now it's gone, blah, 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 right? They're on the outside with the Five of Pentacles, um, feeling left out in the cold, but they're the ones that left, right? So it's like... You feel left out of the call, you left me. But it's okay. <laughs> Same story. Um, they're having a little trouble um, putting plans into motion, plans into action. And I feel like um, they want the best winning way to come in, right? The best winning strategy. And so that's what is putting them, that's what's creating this delay, this... Um, anxiety about the situation, this sort of, pardon my language, oh shittedness of the situation. Um, but I'm being told there's a reason that there's a pause in the connection because they need to go over their patterns in relationships, forgive themselves, forgive others, um, and this goes back to not only just relationships with their significant others, you know, their exes, um, but also with their parents and um, how that uh, shaped their interpersonal relationships with their, um, 
you know, romantic involvement. So um, they need to take this pause to sort of sort that all out so that whenever you guys can return to each other, then that could all be worked out and there's no, um, no bugaboos in the connection, right? And um, I think you probably need that too. <clears throat> Someone could have uh, Venus in Gemini or Gemini in Libra or something like that. But I feel like there is sort of a manic quality to someone's Venus style, meaning their attraction style, meaning their love style, right? Um, what they are attracted to and what they attract. Um, there's sort of a, uh, there's a mercurial, mercurial quality to it. So um, there is a level of mania involved, there's a level of overthinking involved, there's a level of always needing stimulation, right? So there could be, um, this person could be easily distracted, that could be one of their uh, flaws, right? Um, or you could be easily distracted. Uh, but that's what we are examining in this time of pause. Let me get some more cards. We have mirror. So we have two mirrors validating that. There's going to be something about mirrors. You are going to see something in a mirror. We also have a reflection with the frozen lake. You're going to see something in a mirror and um, that is going to be a sign, right? Um, interesting. You guys also could be mirroring each other, of course. And we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together. Um, so, you know, actually, I feel like you guys could really use some mirror magic. Uh, so staring into the mirror and saying affirmations about yourself to attract the things you want into your life, um, to um, rewriting your brain over old patterns that don't serve you anymore, right? So re recreating old, uh, new beliefs um, to sort of an upgrade itself that you may have experienced. Um, like getting clear about what you want about your soulmate, whether it's a specific person or uh, someone uh, figuratively um, looking in the mirror and getting clear about that, um, saying it over and over again each day and um, I feel like it's going to help you in this situation. Um, it's going to help you get clear about your patterns and what you want moving forward. I also want to say with Venus, I am a Libra. I am ruled by Venus. And because we're ruled by uh, Venus, love and beauty, we're often kind of seen as sort of like shallow and superficial. <laughs> and we're also the other, right? Um, so... Um, our house is the seventh house of partnership, so we try to be that other partner for that other person, right? Um, and that can um, oftentimes lead to a distorted sense of self because we're always trying to fill in the gap for the other person that we sort of lose ourselves, right? So something that has always been uh, helpful to me as a Libra in my life is to work with mirrors because one, we get to see our natural beauty, Two, um, I feel like this helps me see myself as the other <laughs> because it's basically like two people, but it's yourself, right? So you can sort of like see yourself as yourself, um, which is sort of hard to do as a Libra if you are a Libra and you struggle with that or you struggle with that and you're not a Libra but have placements or whatever. I don't know. Um, but mirror work can help in that sort of way if you're dealing with those sort of issues where you lose yourself. Um, you can also practice this mirror work as far as this goes where it gives you an ability to see yourself but also to separate yourself from um, what you're looking for um, and um, what your divine counterpart sees, right? So, um, looking for qualities in yourself that your divine counterpart is looking for in other people. I hope that's making sense to people. I can't like <laughs> go into detail about that because it's very meta and these messages are channeling quickly sometimes and it gets um, lost and I have to move along. But I feel like there is a break, there is a pause. 
uh, for a reason to evaluate these patterns and to work on yourself. And I suggest mirror work. If you would like to learn more about mirror work, you can um, become a patron for $2 a month. I do a lot of root work and hoodoo and witchcraft and um, a lot of magic over there, right? And so we um, deal with a lot of things like mirror work and such. <laughs> so yes, it's only $2 a month. It will not hurt you. It's $2 price of a soda and uh, we do a lot of fun things over there and I want to build up that tribe, build up that, that community and um, you know get a, a tribe going for us. So yes, but otherwise like share, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like personal reading, check the description box below. I love you very much. Bye. Last but not least, pile number five. What are the signs you will see when you meet your person? Or if you need reassurance, if you already have. We have Skull of Stars, Infinite Possibilities. And I said this, I didn't say this in the intro, but I've been saying it in the piles. I am doing a combination of what the cards actually mean and the visuals and um, intuitive hits that I get off the uh, card. So some of the things I throw out might not make sense. I threw out fork in one of the uh, piles. So uh, fork sounds weird uh, to a lot of people. It sounds weird to me. But um, when you develop these deep intimate bonds with uh, other people, you uh, form inside jokes and these secret languages. So fork might mean something very special to someone, right? And so I'm giving, um, I'm reading for a bunch of different people and some of these messages may come out uh, strange. So skulls could be a sign for you. Stars could be a sign for you. Let's keep it moving though. We have slow down and we see a woman who is resting. Dancing could be a sign. There's a maze right here. We also have candles and fish any of those could be signs for you when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take time to allow things to unfold we also have pluto uh more skulls uh, strong scorpio energy here uh death uh skulls deco compost decomposing um trash oil um, we have Luna, there's a moth here, moths could be significant to you, turquoise, turquoise jewelry here. Uh, the moon is, uh, Cancer is ruled by the moon, the moon changes um, every two or three days. The moon is very emotional. The moon ru rules our feelings and emotions, but it could also be a sign for you. We have Get Centered. We have a Magic 8 Ball. We have uh, Peace Beads, Yoga Beads here. She's wearing a fedora and yoga pants. Get Centered. We also have Playfulness with Mary Poppins on a motorcycle. And let's see. I feel like for this pile, this pile is really serious. You might be a water sign, Cancer or Scorpio especially. We do have Pisces with the fish up there. Um, so this could be you or your person. But I feel like really emotional, really intense, really serious sometimes. And the universe is telling you to lighten up and to play. Bike or bicycle, you could want to... Um, go bicycling that could also again be a sign for you but when you go out and play um, then that's going to open up your heart space um, to where you're not so deep and serious we did get uh, we did recently get through a full moon in Scorpio these are timeless readings so it doesn't matter when you read it but full moon in Scorpio those are deep dark emotions um, and they can really transform us right um, but they're sort of hard to go through so when you're going through hell. Keep on going, right? Um, so, uh, 
the message here is telling you to that you will get centered by lightening up by having fun uh, you could need a cardio workout like um, a bicycle um, or this could just mean you know again buzzing around on a scooter or a motorcycle um, and just feeling like free and alive and that's going to help you center yourself we have the seven of pentacles reversed with um a dove or a carrier pigeon she's letting go and then farmers in the background that could be a sign for you in some way i feel like you might have felt like you wasted your time in a situation we have the moon again twice that could be very significant to you or you could be again a water sign strong water energy here we have a, a lizard right here and the moon of course and we have a pregnant woman wasted an opportunity and um let your emotions run away with you, right? Um, I feel like you might have felt too overly emotional, too intense for someone or for a situation, and you feel like you might have blown it, but I don't feel like that is the case. Um, so let's continue, let's continue. Hold on one sec. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. Death. Strong Scorpio. Oh my gosh. Um, and Death with the Skull energy too. And we have the Ten of Cups. See, I told you, y'all were tripping over nothing. Um, but it is going to take a little effort on your part, I see, with the Page of Pentacles here. Or if you... Uh, if you know what you know, right? If you know that your partner messed up, then, um, and they're the Scorpio or they're the intense moody one, then they need to come forward. Um, you can switch it, apply it how it resonates, right, guys? Um, and if it doesn't resonate, then it's not the reading for you. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> but I do feel like, um, there was sort of an intensity and emotionality to the connection and you might have been embarrassed by it because it might have reminded you of all of the times you were emotional and opened up and showed your wild side where you let yourself be vulnerable, where you let yourself lash out, where you let yourself um, bust into, burst into tears, right? And someone might have backstabbed you, might have betrayed you uh, for that. They might have used your feelings against you. They might have held it over your head. They might have um, told someone um, when you shared that side of you in confidence. Any number of those things, right? Um, but this is talking about transforming all of those past situations into a happy ending. Uh, with death, with Pluto, with Scorpio, these are all energies that talk about transforming, again, like I said, muck, garbage, um, deep, dark stuff. Transforming that into gold. It's like um, turning lead into gold, right? It's... Um, uh, Scorpio, Pluto, 8th house rules um, oil. So oil is fossil fuel. It's sediment that has been there for millions of years until it transformed into a resource that um, we could use, right? So it's taking this deep dark stuff and turning it into something uh, beautiful. And I'm not saying that oil is <laughs> That oil uh, is beautiful, that petroleum is beautiful. I'm just saying that that energy of taking something that you thought you could discard and making it into something new um, is the Scorpio energy. Uh, Scorpio in the 8th house and Pluto also rule sex and uh, orgasms are called little deaths um, in, uh, I think it's the French translation, they're translated into little deaths, right? So let's think about this. So <laughs> your, um, your passion dies, right? Whenever you reach an orgasm, but, um, the sperm lives on, the sperm fertilizes the egg. And so that sperm doesn't die. It, um, uh, goes on to transform into a baby. That baby um, then grows up and then when that baby dies it uh, transforms into worm food and then the worm food transforms into the flowers and then the flowers 
give you oxygen to breathe and <laughs> circle of life, right? So um, basically, this is saying, not to get super deep on you guys, but I do remember a lecture I had in college where it said, um, in the universe, nothing is ever created and nothing is ever destroyed, right? So everything comes from something else, right? It's just a transfer of energy from one, one thing to another. When you think about water itself, water can be a solid, water can be a liquid, and water can be a gas. Um, so this is that energy, right? So it can take different forms. So um, the point is, is I feel like you have transmuted um, this relationship, transmuted this person, and both of you have went from uh, one element to another element, right? From one form to another form. And so it's going to take um, sort of coming forward, like knocking on the door, offering something of yourself in this new form to have the complete transformation onto the other side and to get the confidence to knock on this door, I feel like it's going to take some playfulness and getting centered with yourself, some like relaxing um, with a slow down, taking a nap, being silly, being calm, um, vibing out, zenning out, and um, playing, right? Uh, I think a lot of um, those things are going to get you to that spot. Um, what also might be a sign for you is acupuncture, needles, uh, did we talk about flowers? We didn't talk about flowers in this one, but flowers could be a sign for you because we have flowers right here and flowers right here. Um, he is in a graveyard. I know it's a weird um, signal, but graveyard was a sign for pile number one. If you want to watch pile number one, if you resonated with that uh, energy uh, two. Um, and what else could be a sign is gold, gold jewelry, gold bracelets, gold puzzle, a puzzle, uh, like a brain teaser puzzle, a like Chinese finger trap puzzle, a um, uh, twisty wooden puzzle, right? Those could be signs for you. Let's leave with these two cards and then I'll let you get on your way. We have inner temple devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. Again, with this tuning in, getting centered with yourself, slowing down and having fun, doing the things you find fun is going to give you this inner temple. It's devoting time to yourself, right? Giving that love to yourself so that um, the wells will never run dry whenever you give it to someone else. Um, you know, you'll always have it for yourself. We also have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you needed, if you had doubt, there it goes. Boom, this is your soulmate, whoever you were questioning. Let me know if that resonates. I love you very, very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, check the description box below. I love you. Bye.